Hey, this is Brent Arnold, and here we are within uh, the app that we've been creating, this basic view app. We call it the Cool People app, and previously we created a splash screen, and now I want to talk about how to create a simple uh, menu item pop-up, and it's referred to as a view menu. And the view menu, if you're familiar with uh, Android, the hardware buttons, looking over here at the phone, uh, notice if I press this button here we get a pop-up of a uh, menu and we can uh, emulate that within the app and it's a part of the view object and so here we're at the view navigator application but I want to go to my first view and so part within the view object I can create uh, my view menu items and to do that let's go ahead beneath the script tag we're gonna add another tag called view menu items with an S and this is an array of view menu items and so these uh, represent buttons and we're gonna give these a label and so for example a lot of times you'll see something like you'll have an add button so in our case you know if we have a if we have a list of uh, component uh, list of sorry cool people and we want to add to that we can put that in our menu Another one might be something like delete. So let's say that person, you know, we no longer like them or perhaps they're Osama bin Laden and they've just been killed. Then you could go ahead and delete them from your uh, cool person list. Of course, if he was on your cool person list, I would be a little worried. All right, so view menu item. And oh, there's always, uh, there's always one that says, you know, like settings, right? So let's go ahead and save this and let's run it and see what happens. Go ahead and click run. And if you haven't done it before for this session, go ahead and click run on the device. And I'm gonna look over here and notice that again, uh, when this loads, we've got our cool splash screen. And now when I press the menu button, oh, I didn't press it, my bad. There it is. Notice we have our three items. We have add, delete, and settings. Now, if I press away, it'll hide the buttons. If I um, select one of them, it will do something. Now, it didn't do anything because we didn't set it to. So go ahead and exit the app. And notice uh, what we would do is back here in the code, of course, you could do things like add icons, you know, so you can have pretty icons like the other apps do. and so you do that here, but for our purposes, we want to just add a click event. So go ahead and click, choose click. And we won't generate a click handler. Let's just create our own. We'll call this handle menu clicks. And it'll just pass in the event. Go ahead and save that. Now, of course, it's going to give me an error. And the error is because I haven't defined it yet. And that's OK. So within our script tag below these other functions, we're just going to say private function handle menu clicks. And it's going to take, we'll just call it a mouse event because that'll cover everything. All right, so within here, we'll add some code. We're just going to trace. So I'm going to do a trace statement. I'm going to say you clicked the and then kind of code this up. We're going to say event.current target.label because that's what will give us a descriptor. You can put ID, of course. You could do all sorts of things. Button. So I'm just going to trace this out when, when we click that. Now let's go ahead and copy this and paste it into our other menu items, control C, space control V, space control V. Go ahead and save that. And all is well. Now, when we go to run this on the device, remember in order to get these trace statements, we need to do a debug session. So go ahead and click debug. It's going to launch it. We're going to look over at our device. And that little dialog says it's trying to connect, and it did. Cool person list. Yeah, man. 
go ahead and click the menu button and then watch the screen hey you clicked the delete button all right let's try that again hey you clicked the settings button awesome all right so it works now you're thinking okay that's cool so what well that's up to you guys you can do whatever you want with it right later on I'll cover some tutorials on persisting data and so adding removing stuff like that but for now this just gives you a good head start with view menu items one question may come up well Brent what about those devices that may not have a hardware menu button well in that case uh, in order to show the menu uh, we need to programmatically call it now for our purposes let's uh, let's say below this list we add a button and of course you wouldn't really do it this way but I just want to give you a sense of uh, what this means how it works and so for example um, we'll just call this open menu and then we'll have a click handler and I'm just going to do a quick and dirty we're going to call Basically, we're calling the root view navigator. Sorry, boy, I can't spell if you paid me. Top level, and then it's the property is view menu open. And we want to set that to true. All right, then we close that button. Let's go ahead and save that. And I can go ahead and stop this was a previous debug session so we'll stop that uh, let's come over here let's debug it one more time and we should have a button now that shows up below our list my cool people list man this has got to be the best application I've ever written all right so now I'll click the open menu click the open click the open menu button there it is it was hard to click and then it showed up right so if I click the menu button it shows up and then if I click there it says hey you click the delete button now this is just for demonstration purposes but anyway the point is you would call and programmatically set view menu open to true well if you set it to true you can also set it to false to hide it but that's the basics of creating a view menu